Mounting evidence suggests that AI is in fact taking away our critical thinking skills and our literacy. That may become a serious problem because AI is trained on our creations. With the populace, where over 50% reads under a 6th grade level, and it's getting worse, that could be a problem not just for us, but for AI, which will feed back into us. That's particularly problematic when we have a new generation who is now being raised on AI to do their tasks for them. That is how people use it, something that can take over the tasks that we don't want to do, but it turns out they exist for a reason. Kind of like those who use the internet to write their assignments and then come the exam. They can't answer anything. Yes, I'm looking at you. You know who you are. But what happens when that is an entire generation that don't know how to do basic things and rely on those who came before them to train a data set that is now disappearing? Yes, more than half the internet is now AI-generated content. Except AI can't be trained on AI. It becomes distorted and stops making sense unless it has something to sharpen it. But what happens when the people who are supposed to sharpen it now don't exist? We need media, we need books, we need to evolve with the times, otherwise we would all be speaking Shakespearean English. But we don't. And we may end up in a situation where AI is either based on a then archaic version of English, or it becomes distorted like the rest of us, kind of like a collective cognitive basket. We don't know who exactly to blame for the literacy crisis nor the decline in critical thinking. 2020 didn't do it all. We were seeing these trends starting in the 1990s. Some like to blame it on children now not reading books, but people never really read books. Yes, there were a few. It may have to do with how we engage with media in general, the way we're thinking changes. It's also deeply concerning and not particularly surprising, but AI doesn't help loneliness. In general, it makes people lonelier. Granted, the types of people who end up lonelier with AI also have codependency issues. They end up becoming codependent on their AI, which is not a real person, and they can identify that. AI can be a very powerful tool. Unfortunately, we put it in the hands of everyone, and that includes children. Adults at least had a shot at developing healthy social skills. They at least had a shot at developing literacy. But when these tools are placed in the hands of children, they'll never learn those skills to begin with. And we're not just talking about long division and multiplication. We aren't just talking about the skills you will probably need if you ever even want to study calculus or linear algebra. We're talking about the very skills that it takes to read a book or to interact with another human being. I believe that this will very rapidly become a serious issue. Like most things, we'll probably figure it out too late. I wonder if we'll have a future where AI has been banned for certain age groups. Because once that genie is out of the bottle, it's not going back in. These things have been released to everyone, and they will demand it, even if it takes nuclear power plants, which we're seeing multiple tech companies setting up their own nuclear power plants to fund this. We're pretty much funding Lucy Lubot. If you've seen this episode of Futurama, if you haven't, go watch it. It feels more pertinent than ever today.